Hey people, how you doing? Eh, quite, 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 quite. Papio Deck here, once again. Welcome very much. This is Benga Chronicles. Karibuni sana, we talk about Benga here. Nothing more. The tea is just by the way. As I told you, this is Benga Chronicles, and all we do here is talk Benga, eat Benga, well, and Mandazi and tea, sleep Benga, and think Benga. Now, as I've been thinking about Benga, I can't help but think about the radio. You know, the radio is one of the best ever inventions of man, okay? Radio is just <laughs> out of this world. You know, my friends who are presenters tell me that, you know, when they're presenting, radio makes them feel like they're in touch with their audiences. Can you imagine? Not even TV. Radio. Radio is very, very intensive and radio is very intimate. That is why you find that radio, unaweza tuma salam, kuna matangazo ya vifo. There's all these things happening that are very intimate, all happening in radio. But most importantly, radio plays is music. It is the dream of every musician that their music will get airplay in radio. Every musician, trust me, there's no musician out there who makes music and wants their music to be hits in the studio alone. Now, you cannot think about the radio stations without thinking about the radio presenters, radio producers, radio DJs. All these people are players in this game, if you can call it that, to make sure that the music is promoted or to make sure that the music is dead. These people work towards Benga music. All their efforts must benefit the Benga musician, the music composers, the music arrangers. You know, all these people, that is the ultimate person who should benefit from all these efforts. Because where would radio be without music? Radio exists because of music. And therefore, to some extent, music exists because of radio. As much as you can have your music being played anywhere else, music has to be played in radio. Now, today I want to talk about Benga music vis-a-vis -vis radio. Getting airplay. If you want to look at the status of Benga music vis-a-vis -vis radio. Now, I invited a guest today. Ladies and gentlemen, I invite you. Just come meet our guests. So as I say, today we have a guest, and our guest today is George Otieno or Ajombota. Papio Dek, Papio Dek, my guy. <laughs> you are the man. No, you are the man. No, no, you are you, the man. No, you, you are, are the smoking man. hot. <laughs> you are the man. You know, you know this song, yeah. Umali to Metoka. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Ah, that's a long story. We yeah. are here today to talk about Benga music and the uh, importance of having radio play Benga music. Okay? Um, yes, so, Ajombo Da. Yep. Let me begin this way. What do you think about the status of Benga music in the country as it is right now? Benga music, according to me, has come from far. Way back in the 60s, I remember as part of uh, some of the, the participants and uh, uh, as it stands right now, we need a mighty savior because um, there are some uh, classes of music coming up which really seems to be sweeping off the, the, the real meaning of the original Benga. You know, uh, part of the... I know you remember this song, Zainabu Oye, by, by, by Uchinka Basele. Uchinka Basele, yes, yes Uchinka yes, Basele. Yes. So, so um, you, know, you know, there were real compositions, uh, real inspirations. Uh, I, think, I think we need a savior, somebody or a body or even an organization to really teach people, you know, the, the, new, the new youth, mm -hmm. to teach them and to, also to remind them uh, from where, uh, I mean, just remind them where Benga is coming where Benga from. Is. And that is why we have yes. Benga Chronicles to remind you all that you know what, Benga music is a real music. Now, I want to put it to you that radio stations have been part of either the promotion or the death, so to speak, of Benga music. Because uh, history has recorded that Benga music is uh, the most uh, successful genre of, Ken of, of music in Kenya. Yes, yes. In fact, we can even say in Africa, 
okay? But Benga Music has lost it. What is the problem? I mean, in terms of radio stations, why? Because I know you work for Ramogi FM, and I know Ramogi FM plays Benga Music. We do. Of course, we do. the Luo Benga Music. Yes. But, you know, a vernacular radio station is confined to the people who understand that language. What do you think is the problem? Why don't we have other radio stations, all right, out there? I know Citizen plays Benga music once in a while. Why don't we have all these other, all these other mainstream, so to speak? I would use my first hand experience uh, in Romogi FM, for example, where I work. We have a segment called Parondalo. Parondalo. Parondalo is Luo, which typically translates to the oldies, you know. Remembering the days, yes, the gone the, days. The, yeah? the oldies, mm. yes. Mm -hmm. So, um, one thing I know with that program. When we, during that segment, we only seem to attract a section, a certain age, a certain mm -hmm. a set of age, you know, uh, we call them the, 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 the old young, you know, the old, the old young, <laughs> That's those people, yeah, the, 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 the people who were back there, you know, the back then, and uh, they're still here, so they want to remember them days. Ah, okay. Yes. Okay. So that's why we have a segment called Parandala, and it is normally every day, Monday, Friday, uh, sometime around six and seven. Every day. Every day. What other programs air on Ramogi mm -hmm. that you know promote specifically Benga music? Uh, I know. I know. Generally, the radio station plays Luo Benga music. You can tune into Ramogi FM. Ajo presents the morning show. Okay. Um, so just mention programs. I know there are those dedicated to Benga music. Specifically, like I mentioned earlier, our segment, uh, the Kogwen, which typically translates to uh, the breakfast, the power breakfast for Ramogi, we have a segment for Benga, mm -hmm. and then again, we have a segment, a, a special segment for Benga, it's called Benga Ramogi. Mm -hmm. Every Friday after the 9 p.m. news, it is Benga till midnight. Okay, yes, so that is a dedicated time, dedicated uh, resources, purely for Benga. Okay. And the person who does that is called uh, James Rabala, mm -hmm. my colleague, alongside uh, um, uh, Godon Omjik Jakarachwani, who has a library of Benga music. You I should see uh, James Rabala and Godon Ondiek. 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 Uh, guys, the invitation is open. You could either come or I could come. I can always come, you know, so that we host and talk about Benga. Uh, Godon, if you have the library, please, you know, you can share it. Uh -huh. Sorry. So apart from that, there's my my able colleague called uh, Frederick Janam. Mm -hmm. Every time when he walks in studio at around uh, seven, he, he always has a special uh, special segment for Benga. Ah, okay. He holds Benga in his own heart, so I don't know. He has a thing with Benga. I listen. I listen to Fredi. I like yes. Fredi. Part of the people he loves, um, you know, Princess Julie. Mm -hmm. Princess that Julie. Princess, Princess Julie is the one who, who sang to us. Uh, Dunia Mbaya. Dunia Mbaya. Hey. Oh, that's the guy. I, I want you to go to the young people. Why don't the young people listen to Bengal music? I partly agree with them. Mm -hmm. uh, there is need for the current musicians to also adapt to the current states of affairs. If things have changed, they have changed. Mm. True, true. Yes. Mm. It's upon us to adjust to the changing moments. Mm -hmm. So what we need to do, in my view, I strongly uh, propose that the Benga musicians who are surviving until today, you know, they really just need to adjust. If if the songs done currently, mm. but with words from words of way wisdom, you know, you mm. know, really people really tend to assume Benga by their words of mm. wisdom. Yeah. So there is need for 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 musicians to really just fuse the old and now, bring future to, to, to together. To, to embrace technology, yes, exactly. to, because this is another interesting topic that maybe we might address another time. Mm. Why haven't the Benga musicians adapted social media spaces? Why, mm. why don't I see Benga music videos being played on Facebook? Why don't I see Benga musicians promoting their shows on Twitter? Why don't I see Benga, Benga musicians embracing uh, uh, Instagram? Why don't they post their photographs? Because as we uh, gear towards attracting the younger generation into Benga music, we have to adapt technology. That's what you're saying. Yes, exactly. Yeah? exactly. And then again, um, you know, back then for you to produce music, you had to play your guitar, ah. then play your drums, mm -hmm. then if it is piano, play it. All these instruments were channeled towards one direction. 
But right now, you see, for example, a producer will just sit with a piano yeah, 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 or a yeah. computer for that matter. And software. Yes. Mm -hmm. Just a software. Like this, this one called Fruity Loops. Mm. Generates everything. So things are done in a very easy way, which the old people don't really seem to understand. Do we encourage them to go the Fruity Loops way? What, what do you suggest? What are you suggesting? Uh, if you go the hard way, you really get to experience. You, you, you grow your experience, you know. Mm. Uh, if if you're a guitarist and you you record with your guitars, mm. your your fingers seem to really master the bar chords and everything else. Mm -hmm. But then again, you know, pre doing it with footy loops is is more of making people careless. So mm -hmm. it is like the, our generation right now is a is an instant coffee solution kind ah, of you know. It's called which, which microwave really, generation. Exactly, exactly. Microwave generation. Exactly. Mm. You know, people don't want to really just put the charcoal there, pepeta jiko, ah. wa chakula, wa ina microwave direct. So so this is a challenge to the old people. They really don't seem to fit inside. But one thing I need to give them thumbs up on is uh uh, the fact that they really had inspirational words. Their lyrics were inspired. One of my favorite songs, uh, Benga songs, is um, apart from uh, Daudi Kabaka, likes mm. of uh, mm. um, lunch time to funge ah. Let's get down to summarizing all this. One is that radio is still very important. Very important. Okay. Yes, because if, if there's no radio, then no, um, the, uh, then the musicians don't won't have, able have a to play, platform to play their music. Play yes. the music. Yes. And uh, as you've demonstrated, Ramogi FM pushes uh, the Benga music from Luo Nyanza mm -hmm. in a very good way. In a in, very in all these way. Programs, exactly. okay? mm -hmm. And uh, what you're saying is that, if, if I'm getting you clearly, is that the younger people, Benga, Benga music is losing it, but we need to do something about it in terms of the musicians. That they need to embrace technology yes. so that the younger people can embrace the music. Mm -hmm. What we need to look into, and mm. uh, this is a piece of a very big advice to the Benga musicians. Mm -hmm. Why are the young people not liking our music? Let's get things they like. Let's let's put things for the old people and things for the young people in the same same, same, same basket. Yes. Okay. Then 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 we get them. I see you, I see you, bye-bye.